in this video we will compute h of n using overlap and save method so here x of n sequence is given that is minus 3 and 1 then h of n sequence is given which is 1 minus 2 and 3 we will consider ls is length of x of n which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 samples in X of N. Let M is length of H of N, which is equal to 3. So here, we are supposed to perform 6 point circular convolution. It means that N value is given, that is 6. We know that N is equal to L plus M minus 1. So, with the help of this, we can calculate L, which is equal to N minus M plus 1, which is equal to 6 minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, therefore, L is equal to 4. In overlap and save method, the X of N sequence is divided into small blocks. So, I will divide this X of N sequence into the small block say x1 of n so it consists of first m minus 1 zeros so here m is equal to 3 m minus 1 is 2 2 zeros followed by l samples of x of n so here l is equal to 4 so we supposed to consider 4 samples of x of n that is 2 3 minus 1 0 these are the first 4 samples of x of n i will note here 2, 3, minus 1, 0. Similarly, the second sub block x2 of n consists of it is having last m minus 1 samples of x1 of n. So, here m is 3, last m minus 1, that is last 2 samples of x1 of n, last 0, minus 1, 0, that is these 2 samples followed by L new samples of X of N. So, again, now we have to consider next four samples of X of N. That is, 5, 2, minus 3 and 1. I will write here, 5, 2, minus 3 and 1. Now, we will write the third sub block, that is, X3 of N is equal to, it consists of, last m minus 1 samples of x2 of n that is of n that is minus 3 and 1 followed by l new samples of x of n so already x of n samples are considered in x1 of n and x2 of n so no new x of n samples are available so we supposed to assume it as zeros so these are the three sub blocks x1 of n x2 of n and x3 of n now we will calculate h of n. So h of n that is the length of h of n should also be equal to n. So here we know that h of n is having 3 samples 1, minus 2 and 3. Now we supposed to make it n equal to 6. So we supposed to add l minus 1 zeros that is 0, 0, 0. l minus 1 is 3. We supposed to add 3 zeros. Now we are supposed to perform the circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n, x2 of n and h of n, x3 of n and h of n. Let y1 of n is circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n. So I will compute circular convolution using matrix method that is y1 of 0, y1 of 1 y1 of 2, y1 of 3, y1 of 4, y1 of 5. This is the first column matrix. The size of this is 6 cross 1. Next we have square matrix 6 cross 6. So here the first column consists of the samples of x1 of n. 
that is 0, 0, 2, 3, minus 1, 0. The first row of this matrix consists of the same samples x1 of n which is supposed to be represented in reverse order that is 0, minus 1, 3, 2, 0. 0, minus 1, 3, 2, 0. Now write this sample here, this sample here diagonally minus 1, 3 and it is 2. This should be continued. 0 should be written here. Similarly, 2, minus 1. This is 3, here it is 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 3, 2, 0 and 0. So now here we supposed to write the sequence H of n which is 1 minus 2, 3, 1 minus 2, 3, 0, 0, 0. Now we supposed to perform the multiplication between these two matrices that is 0 0 this is minus 3 this is 0 0 0 rest all are zeros here it is 2 into 1 is 2 it is 0 0 0 rest all are zeros next 3 into 1 is 3 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 then rest all are zeros then we have minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 6 plus 6 then we have 0 2 plus 9 so rest all are zeros So simplifying this, we will get minus 3, 0, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 11. So similarly, now we will perform circular convolution between x2 of n and h of n perform circular convolution between x2 of n and h of n. So I'll write y2 matrix y2 of 0 1 5. is equal to now write x2 of n sequence vertically that is minus 1 0, 5, 2, minus 3 and 1 that is minus 1, 0, 5, 2, minus 3 and 1. Now write the same sequence in reverse order. In first row that is 1, minus 3, 2, that is 5 and we have 0. So this ray 1 will appear here, write this 1 here diagonally, minus 3, 2, 5, this 0, minus 1, 1, minus 3, 2, 5, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 3, 2, 5, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 3, 2, 5, 0, minus 1. Now write h of n which is same as this one 1 minus 2 3 0 0 0. Now we will perform the multiplication between these two that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 9 this is 0 this is 2 plus 3 this is for you 0 and minus 3 this is 2 
minus 10 rest all are zeros this is minus 3 minus 4 plus 15 then we have 1 plus 6 plus 6 simplifying this we'll get minus 12 for you 2 minus 8 plus 8 and 13 so these are y2 of n values y of n that is y3 of n is equal to x3 of n convolution with h of n so y3 of n sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 is equal to now write x3 of n sequence vertically that is minus 3 1 rest all are zeros now write the same sequence in reverse order in first row that is 0 0 0 0 and 1 now write this minus 3 here 0 0 0 0 this one is here this minus 3 is here 0 0 0 0 this one this is minus 3 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 0 1 minus 3 0 0 0 0 1 minus 3 right here h of n matrix that is 1 minus 2 3 0 0 0 so simplifying this this is minus 3 rest all values are 0 this is 1 plus 5 1 plus 6 rest all are zeros then it is 0 this is minus 2 minus 9 these two are zeros this is 3 then this is 0 this is 0 simplifying further I can write minus 3 7 minus 11 3 0 0 so now let me write all output sequences that is y1 of n is equal to minus 3 0 2 minus 1 minus 1 11 y2 of n sequence is minus 12 5 2 minus 8 8 13 and last sequence y3 of n is minus 3 7 minus 11 3 0 0 Now we will write the final output sequence y of n which is equal to so here in each output sequence we supposed to discard first m minus 1 samples here m is equal to 3 so m minus 1 is 2 first two, two samples that is we have to discard these two samples these two samples and these two samples so now write the remaining samples of all the out intermediate outputs that is 2 minus 1 minus 1 
11 then we have 2 minus 8 8 13 then we have minus 11 and minus 3 rest two are zeros we can ignore them so this is the output sequence y of n which is the convolution between x of n and h of n so now i will verify the answer here so i will perform the linear convolution between x of n and h of n in direct method that is i will write the x of n sequence here that is 2 3 minus 1 0 5 2 minus 3 and 1 this is x of n sequence and vertically i will write h of n sequence that is 1 minus 2 and 3 so here this is x of n sequence and here h of n sequence written vertically now multiply this one with all these samples that is 2 1 into 3 is 3 this is the same sequence now multiply minus 2 with all the values minus 4 6 2 0 minus 10 minus 4 minus 6 minus 2 this is 6 9 minus 3 this is 0 this is 15 this is 6 this is minus 9 and this is 3 so now we supposed to consider the vertical values now i will write the y of n sequence which is as so here the first value is 2 write 2 here then add these two values that is minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 then add these all values sorry this is supposed to be minus 6 my 6 minus 6 0 that is minus 1 then add 9 2 and 0 that is 9 plus 2 is 11 then add minus 3 0 and 5 that is 2 so adding these values will get minus 8 then adding these values will get plus 8 adding these will get 1 this is minus 2 into minus 3 is supposed to be plus 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 1 13 so here adding these two will get minus 11 and this one is 3 so here we can see that this value and this value are same so we can verify the answer in this way thank you for watching